part two, talking about reissues. Thanks for taking a look at this. I think there have been way too many reissues recently in general, with just hip hop records in general. Way too many. Sometimes they get it wrong, sometimes they get it right. That's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. Uh, first one, The Roots, Things Fall Apart. This is the original pressing of this record. Looks like white label promo. This is the way it came out. Not nothing here, not too much. Now I also have the CD for this, okay? The CD had, you know, for all you trivia people, you know there's like four or five different CD covers with different artwork on there. So I wasn't that mad when they reissued this because this album, as good as it is, has, I think they did a good job by reissuing it with the cover. I think that was around the time that it got certified platinum anyway. That's an example of doing a good reissue. It came out, it's just a white label. You gave people something else, you know, with the original artwork that they can add to their collection. This by itself is not that much to look at. Probably not something that you want to put on the wall. Now, at the other extreme, you have reissues gone wrong, where it's like, do we need another one? Here's an example. Probably one of my favorite records of all time. The Far Side. Bizarre Ride to the Far Side. I mean, fantastic album here. Nothing wrong about this one. This is my own copy. Um, still in shrink. I mean, look. When this came out, let me show you. Just in case you've never seen this before, I'll let you go ahead and take a look at it here. They did a fantastic job on it here. It's gatefold. Look, colored vinyl. Pictures. They did a really good job on this when this when when this got released. Um, what else do you need to do to this? What else do you need to do? One is yellow, one is blue. Here's the other one. Pristine as well. So, this is a record who's been, I mean, reissued probably about like five or six times now by different labels where they got the, uh, the LP and the CD. They got the box set with just the 12 inch singles I mean, you're not giving anybody anything else new. So, what are you doing really? I don't get I don't get why we need to have so many reissues of that. I mean, for the music lover like me, you're not giving us anything new, so cut it out, okay? Cut it out. Reissue gone right, roots, things fall apart, versus reissue gone wrong. Bizarre ride to the far side. Let me know what you think. Thank you.